Alright, welcome back to Get Out the House Go Fish. Today I'll be showing you how to replace a broken wheel stud. In this video, there will be two broken wheel studs that I'll be replacing on a 2016 Hyundai Elantra. I'll take you through step by step and hopefully this helps someone save some money by doing it themselves. Alright, let's get started. So I want to go ahead and give you the part number for the wheel stud on the 2016 Hyundai Elantra and it's the Dorman wheel stud part number 610-568.1. One more thing, if you're not interested in replacing the individual wheel stud or studs, then you can purchase just the wheel hub with the ball bearing. They're sold individually at a reasonable price, at least online that I found. And so uh, this video, once again, is going to show you how to take that wheel hub off and you can just replace it with a new one if you want to uh, do that. All right, now that we're ready, let's go ahead and break those lug nuts loose. All right, go ahead and jack the car up and then uh, for safety, put you a, uh, a jack stand underneath the car. All right, now we're going to remove all the lug nuts and then go ahead and pull that tire off. All right, now that we have the wheel off, we want to remove the brake caliper. Uh, it's pretty easy, it's just two bolts. Uh, one up top, right here, it's 14 millimeter. And then there's a, a bolt on the bottom that we want to remove too. Now, I always like to spray uh, the bolts uh, so with some WD-40 or this is just some uh, penetrating uh, lubricant that I got from the Dollar Tree. All right, so once you get that top and bottom bolt off, you're going to just kind of maneuver this caliper back and forth, and then uh, it should just pull right off. And on this particular model vehicle, it has two Phillips head screws that you have to uh, basically take out before you can get that, that brake rotor off. All right, and once you get the rotor off, uh, right behind there is the hub. Now, um, I would just go ahead and knock the... Uh, the studs out um, it's just easier to do it like that and so just uh, spray it with some lubricant again and just bang it out and it really is just as easy as that as long as you have a nice uh, big sledgehammer like this so I was going to try to get those new uh, studs in, but I couldn't do it while it was on. So you have to take that hub off, and there's only four bolts holding that, that hub in. So go ahead and get you a 12 millimeter socket, and there's uh, you have to stick the uh, socket through the holes here on the hub and loosen those bolts, and it should just come right off. All right, now if you just got a new hub, then you just put the new hub on and put the bolts back on and just do the reverse what we just did. If you're just replacing the actual studs, you want to make sure that you're adding mechanical grease to those studs so it's easier for them to go in because they you got to hit them in pretty hard and make sure that they're flush whenever they do go in. Then uh, I have a uh, basically a, a workbench I took it over to with a vise and I uh, finished uh, hammering in those uh, studs. All right, that's it. Once you have your stud or studs uh, replaced, or maybe you're just replacing the entire hub, just go ahead and line up everything. And you can only go on one way because you have these little uh, guides that stick out. And uh, just kind of work it on and uh, tighten everything back up like it was before, and you're good to go. Anyway, I hope this helps someone out, uh, helps save you some money. Uh, made it look easier than what you thought it would be and uh, definitely hit that like button subscribe to the channel and uh, till next time
Yeah, that's a good fish. 